What's going on my friends, DJ Low Stacks here. Welcome back or to the channel. Before we get started today, real quick, if you're new around here, please consider subscribing, click that like button and leave me a comment down below. You can also click that notification bell so you can get notifications of my upcoming videos. 2024, I'm putting a big emphasis on making more content and trying to grow this channel and I need your help. So you guys hit me up in the comments, you hit me up in the DMs on Instagram, you wanna see what's in my camera bag, so I'm going to show you everything. I'm going to head over to my standing desk back behind me here, and we're going to go through every camera case that I have, and I'm going to show you everything that I use outside of one camera because I have to film with something. So let's head over there. <music> All right, guys, so now we're over here at my standing desk. I'm going to start out with my main <clears throat> camera case, which this is just an Apache case from Harbor Freight. I don't remember the exact model. I think it was around like 80 bucks. Um, it's very, it's the same dimensions as the Pelican. That is the same as this one, but I bought some accessories for it. So this insert came off of Amazon. It's got these modular, uh, just you know, padded, dividers and things. And then I also bought this bag storage that mounts to the lid. Up here is just batteries, cables. Uh, I've got a camera strap, my walkie talkies that Andrew and I use to communicate with each other. <clears throat> Those are in there. But in the, the main bag here, we've got my two R6 bodies. So this is my R6 Mark II. And I've got this nice handle on it, it's nice to hold on to. And then we just mount a mic on it usually. And he kind of does run and gun with this one. Uh, this is my original R6. I have these cages on both of them just for extra mounting points and things like that. This is for a Peak Designs camera strap. Super convenient too. I love Peak Designs stuff. I've got a lot of their, a lot of their accessories. For lenses, I primarily run these three. This is a 16 to 35, but what's nice about it is it's an f2.8, uh, so really low aperture, great for low light. This is a uh, EF series style lens though, so it does require this adapter to work on the R6s because the R6s run off of this style lens, which is the Canon's newest, which is the RF mount. This one is a 14 to 35, so very similar to this, but this lens is only an F4, so it doesn't go quite as low on the aperture as the 16 to 35. And probably our most used lens would be this one right here. This is the Canon, also EF, uh, 24 to 70. This is a super popular lens for photographers and video. This is an f2.8 as well, so nice low aperture, um, does just, you know, super well, super well in low light, and uh, yeah, just a very good quality lens here, one of my, probably my favorites. Um, for microphones, we're rocking uh, two of the Rode, um, I think these are the Rode Mic Goes maybe, or Rode Micro, I don't know. That's the original version, and then this is the newer version. It's just a little more compact, but we just mount these on the camera somewhere um, for open dancing and such. But for all my talking and stuff that you guys see, uh, the Andrew shoots is recorded with these. This is the, the DJI mic. This is the two pack. So I wear one of these around and uh, this is probably my favorite, my favorite tool right here. Just it improves the audio quality so much. Um, you know, between good audio quality and using the good quality lens that shoots great in low light, that's your trick to uh, good quality footage. So this is actually a screen here. So this is just a touch screen uh, from Feel World. Uh, this is, Andrew uses this when he's using the gimbal, which I'll show you the gimbal here in a little bit. We've got a uh, variable ND filter. We use this a lot when we're shooting outside when it's super bright. 
during the summer uh, makes it look like it's a shaded day even though the sun might be out in full brightness and then last in this case is going to be our battery storage so we've got a spot up here for SD cards uh, just to keep it organized and then we have six batteries two of them right now are in the cameras and then these are all charged as well so I try to make sure we leave for every event with a fully charged pack of batteries and that's it for this case so we're gonna move on to my accessories case which this one is also an Apache case I just took all the Apache logos off and I stuck this Lux Entertainment sticker in the center but this case has got all of my accessories so can staying true with the uh, big cameras this is my flash so this is a Godox this is a Godox flash this is the V1C and what I love about this flash is it syncs with your camera so you don't have to manually adjust any of the settings you turn it on and it just works and being an amateur photographer that was super important for me because I didn't want to have to go in and adjust flash settings and all that stuff with this one you turn it on it syncs with the camera it just works I don't know how else to explain it so that's that uh, rest of the stuff is just some random things this is an aperture light um, we use this sometimes if it's super dark to kind of light me from the back. Um, just added some, it adds some depth and makes things look good. But this is the Aperture MC Pro. Kind of an expensive light. This is around 200 bucks. But uh, it's super, super bright for how big it is. And it comes with this mount. This is a magnet mount, so you can stick it to things. Super convenient. Love this little light. Uh, what else we got in here? Got some other mounts. So this is a mouth mount for the camera that I'm actually filming on, which is the Action 4. This is so I can put it in my mouth here and walk around the camera and it gives you that kind of first person view. This one I use to go around either my Astera tube stands or the stands, uh, the poles on my Eox 12s. It's so like a mount an Action Cam um, or something like that. Uh, this is just a super convenient little, little mount to do some cool stuff with. Uh, in this case, this is going to be, I know it says GoPro, but it's all, it's all DJI action uh, accessories. This is actually for my Pocket 3. It's a mount, so you can mount it to the action uh, mounts. Got a little, uh, shout out to DMS for this, but this is a little anchor battery pack. I use this sometimes. Um, I'll run it with a USB-C cable to one of the action cams just to keep them charged. These are super cool. So I'll, I'll touch on this here in a second, but I'm gonna pull one of these out because I want to show you um, if there's not one already on here, which actually there is, so never mind. But one thing you can do with this, this that's pretty cool, is you can mount it to different things so you can magnetically stick cameras all over the place as long as there's metal. So that's that. This is my 360 cam. A lot of you ask how I get my 360 footage and how it looks so much better than everyone else's. Well, that's because I'm using this. This is the Insta360 one inch is what it's called. So there's the X2, the X3. This is the one inch. So uh, this is a Leica lens on it and a one inch sensor. So it's just designed for low light situations. It's not necessarily an action cam in the sense that it doesn't, it's not water resistant or anything like that, but the photo and video quality is just way better than what you're gonna get with the, the, the X3 or the X2, especially in low light because it has that one inch sensor. And for audio, I use this. So this is an adapter that allows me to connect an external mic. So a lot of times I'll just connect one of the mic goes or something like that to this camera uh, to give it just that better that better audio quality than what you're getting from the internal microphones. So that's the 360 cam. This one is my favorite camera. I love this camera um, more than my R6s even. This is the Osmo Pocket 3. Now this little thing is a game changer for content creators, uh, especially for DJs. This thing is just, <laughs> it's super nice. It shoots landscape, it shoots vertical, however you want. You can just switch the orientation really easily. Switch the camera around, boom, boom. Super versatile camera. Battery life's great, super good in low light. It just, uh, they 
they did not miss with this camera. Uh, but all the other accessories for the Osmo Pocket 3 are in this pack. I have the creator pack, so it came with the extra battery and uh, the mic that I'm recording on, which is the, the Rode Mic 2. These are just some tripods. So this I actually use for the Osmo Pocket. It just spreads out and then extends out here. Um, the other two are for my 360. So this is the same type of style tripod, um, just extension handle. And I use that one for the, the One RS. And this one is also for the 360, but I have this magnet mount on here. So what's cool about this is you can put your 360 cam on the end or action camera or whatever, and then you can take this magnet, you can stick it wherever you want. So um, think like the uh, you know drop ceiling track in the middle of the dance floor or a steel beam or just lots of versatile places. And these magnets are super strong. So you can just hide your camera, get it up out of the way and still capture some pretty cool content uh, without people even knowing that it's there necessarily. So that is this whole accessory pack here, or box of accessories. Uh, I bring this along because we're constantly in and out of this thing grabbing, grabbing stuff. You never know when you're gonna need some sort of a mount or something like that. So next is my drone. So this is my drone case. This is the, this is the DJI Mini 4. So this is the newest one that just came out. Um, one thing that's cool about this, this drone is it has these ultralight batteries, which puts you uh, under that 250 gram uh, restriction. So you can actually fly this without a drone license, which uh, I don't have one, so that's nice. I don't know all the, the rules behind that, but I upgraded from the Mavic, uh, what did I have, the Air? I upgraded from the Mavic Air to this, and uh, it's definitely quite, been quite the upgrade, especially having the controller that has the screen on it and everything. Super nice. And I don't have to calibrate it every time. With the Mavic Air, I was having to calibrate it every time I turned it on. Um, but having this nice case, just because uh, I think that you know, cases are important. Uh, as you guys know, with my, with my DJ equipment, I love hard cases. It just keeps, keeps your stuff nice, longer, and uh, well worth the investment. So last but not least is going to be my gimbal. So this right here is to thank for all of my super crispy, non-shaky dance floor footage and me walking around and all that stuff. So Andrew uses this. This is just an extension pole to extend the base just so you can get a little better grip on the, on the gimbal. But this is the RS3 Pro. Um, not the cheapest gimbal, not the most expensive, but I think it's, uh, you know, works great for us. It's pretty light. The battery life is really good. And the main reason I went this with this one, uh, opposed to something smaller, is I wanted a gimbal that was going to be able to handle the R6s with the EF lenses. So the RF lenses are quite a bit lighter. The EF lenses with that mount are definitely uh, a lot heavier. So a little more challenging and a little more stress on the gimbal and the battery and all of that. But this is the gimbal. Um, I put it together, but it takes a little while. But once you get it together, one thing that's super cool is it'll obviously, if you watch some videos on this thing, it'll actually transition back to this exact position and lock with the camera on it. So when you go to turn it on the next time, it just automatically unlocks. Gimbal's already uh, balanced and all that type of stuff, which is the biggest uh, kind of pain in the butt with gimbals is having to balance them every time. And with this one, you don't have to do that if you once you get it set up right the first time. But all right, I'm gonna head back over to the desk over here and we'll finish up this video. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, that's everything that I'm currently using for 2024 going into this wedding season. If you liked what you saw today, please click that like, like button for me, subscribe, and comment down below if you have any questions. Let me know what camera gear you guys are currently using, if there's something that, I'm, that I should be using, or if you have any questions, yeah, let me know. Catch up to the next one. Peace.